everyone, welcome to today's video. Now today it's gonna to be a morning routine. So it's basically everything that I get up to every morning on a typical day before I kind of start filming. So first of all, what I start off by doing is going downstairs and turning on my radio. I love to have a little bit of music in the background. I'm just one of those people that I can't be in a quiet house. So I kind of just do that and then I'm gonna get the doggies ready. And these are some beautiful little flowers that I've got on my windowsill that look super pretty. So I thought you guys might wanna see them. Then here are the doggies. I love them so much. This is Bee and Penelope. So Penelope is my pug and B there is Becky's, my sister's cabochon. I love them so, so much. So every morning I first of all just start off by changing their water. Now it's really important to change water every day just to make sure it's nice and fresh. And we always pop these rocks in which basically if you have female dogs they're really good for, to stop them from destroying your grass with their wee. Because obviously they've got the hormones in so that's really, really helpful. And then they both have these special feeding bowls which again we just got from a normal pet store. And that's their food which we soak in a little bit of water. Penelope, my dog especially, she really struggles when she eats, she eats too fast. So she has to have these slow feeding bowls. So if you have a pug or anything like that, where they're too greedy, you can see how quickly she eats this. It really helps to just slow her down. So it's a really good hack if you have a dog and you're terrified about feeding them. So then it's time to take them for a walk. Now Nelly always wants to go back to bed whenever I try and put her lead on. I basically have to put her in a harness rather than a normal lead because she is a pug and it just puts too much pressure on their throat and their airways. So she has to have a little pur pretty purple harness and then B wears a normal lead. And then eventually when Nelly's got out of bed, I just pop on my Jules uh, wellies, which I absolutely love. We get to have fields nearby to us. So it's just really important to wear wellies, otherwise you get absolutely soaked. So every morning I take the doggies for a nice long walk. We normally go for about 45 minutes. So first of all, I have them on their leads and then I get to a certain point and I let them run. It's really important to let them run, obviously just so they've got so much energy. And I just kind of wear my normal sort of gym clothes underneath here and a massive coat and the girls absolutely love it they just love having so much open space and then I put them back on their leads again one before we get home just to make sure I know I can get them back and then I'm gonna have a nice cup of tea I start my day my day off with a cup of tea every single day just to kind of get myself going and then I have a smoothie now these are actually by crops and these are their real smoothies um, this one is a super green and they're basically frozen vegetables they're like avocado, lime, basil, spinach, apple. You put a bit of apple juice in with them and a bit of um, natural yogurt and then just Nutribullet it up or just blend it up in a blitzer. And I just added a few kind of chia seeds on the top just to make it a little bit more interesting. If you really struggle to kind of get fruit and veg into your diet, this is a really good way of just getting it on the go. So my sister here is making it for us and we basically just share uh, whatever we make. So we just kind of put it into a couple of different containers. And so it just means it's really easy that if you're on the go, you're still getting the right nutrition in, which is really, really nice. And it tastes so good, especially with the apple juice in there. They also do like a red berry one as well, which is really, really good. And then I just normally check my Instagram and my emails and obviously have a little look at the doggies because they're so cute. And then I normally go for a morning run. Now I have got the most amazing headphones. They are by JVC and they are so good because they're wireless headphones. I love them, especially if you're sporty. It's really great to use these because they don't fall out all the time. And then I basically use my running app, which goes between running, sprinting, and walking. It's so good to keep fit with, and it just really helps me, especially if you kind of aren't that used to doing running or you just want to motivate yourself a little bit more. It's really good to push you. Then when I get home, I always, always, always have an Epsom salt bath. This is so good at relaxing your muscles, especially after you've done a little bit of exercise. So I always have a bath just to relax my muscles and really, really have a nice relaxing soak. This is super hot, as you can see, but it was quite a cold day, so I do have the window open. I always watch things on my laptop. So today I'm watching um, Dinner Date on my laptop, which is just hilarious and kind of makes the time go by when I'm in the bath because I get a little bit bored otherwise. Then on my teeth, I'm gonna use my Diamond Whites Black Edition. This is their 100% natural charcoal tooth polish. I do this like once a week where basically I just dip my toothbrush into the powder. So it's like a charcoal powder. And then I just brush my teeth as I would do normally. It looks kind of scary, but because you're black, your, your mouth literally goes black but it is worth it, I promise. So once you've kind of brushed for like two minutes, then you're basically just gonna rinse your teeth and you will still have a bit of black on, but then you're going to use the Black Edition liquid. This basically has, um, it's got like, 
oils in so it's got like activated charcoal and coconut oil and you basically just swish that around for about 10 to 20 minutes so I normally then do my face routine after that while I'm still kind of swishing it around so first of all I'm using my micellar water which is by Garnier just to cleanse my face then I'm going to go in with my Goldfarden MD and this is their fresh appeal multi-acid resurfacing peel this is so so good to remove any like dead surface skin cells and soften and smooth my skin and it also really brightens and shrinks my pores so it's just really nice it just leaves me feeling with like as I said with a really bright face so I love that and then I'm going to go in with a double cleanse this is basically um the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. This is so amazing. It's got rosemary, chamomile, cocoa butter, eucalyptus oil. It's so, so nice. So I pop that all over my face and then take it off using a nice warm cloth. And then that kind of has really, really cleansed my skin. All the time, I'm still swishing this um, oil around in my mouth, just to, as a reminder. Next, I'm taking my Elemis Balancing Lavender Toner. This is so good if you have any breakouts. It's really nice because lavender kind of soothes it, so it's really lovely. And then I'm taking my Cordly Vino Perfect Radiant Serum. This is so good for any different skin type and it just really helps to kind of brighten my skin morning and night and I absolutely love it. I put it all over my face and neck. Then on my eyes, oh my gosh, this is my favourite. It's by Origins and it's their Ginseng Refreshing Eye Cream. This is basically to like brighten and depuff, and it's just got some really lovely, beautiful ingredients in there. It smells absolutely incredible and keeps my eyes looking all youthful, which I love. And then I'm going in with a moisturiser. This is my Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This is so good for hydrating your skin. So if you're finding that you've got really dry skin like me at the moment, honestly, give this a try. It is incredible. Finally, I'm then going to spit that um, oil out of my mouth and then I'm going to use my Taylor's 32 Natural Whitening Toothpaste. This one is in Classic Mint. This is just to give a nice whitening shine and also just to brighten my teeth a little bit. And then I'm not going to bore you with my hair and makeup, but it's straight into filming. So every day I try to film a video, or most days I will film a video. So this is me all ready to go. This is my set and my lighting, and basically I'm going to film a hair hacks video. So if you guys wanted to watch that, that will pop up right now. Be sure to check that one out, and I will see you guys in a few days' time. Bye!